Hey guys, I know your battery is running out all the time and you will see that it doesn't last at all. So the first thing that you guys want to do in order to optimize this and to make it last at least three or four more times more your battery life, you guys want to go into settings and we're going to turn off your parallax. So I'm going to teach you what that is. So let's just go into settings, general, and we want to go into accessibility. From accessibility, you guys want to scroll down just a little bit, okay, until you see reduce motion. So just click on there, reduce motion, and you guys want to turn it off. Right now it's off for mine. If I turn it back on, I'm going to show you what this does. So here's my iPhone. Uh, this works the same thing, for example, if um, you have an iPad or iPod Touch, you have this type of deal when you move it around, you see your background kind of moving and it's like having two screens kind of, that's the parallax motion thing. So to turn it off, all you guys have to do is do this, okay? So have it on green and once I go back and I move my screen around, it doesn't do anything else. So this will actually improve your battery life quite a bit. So besides doing that, you guys also want to turn off some of your app refresh. So it's kind of the same thing, we have to go into settings once again. In settings you guys are going to go to general. Under general, we're going to look for background right here, background app refresh. We want to go into there and here we go. So the best thing to do is actually to turn all these off. Okay. However, you may need one or two apps to be running on your background. Okay. So this, this background refreshing consumes your battery. Uh, consumes your Wi-Fi and your 3G, your data plan, okay? So if you're running out of data, this will also save you some money. So uh, from here, you can just turn them off. So if I don't want my Facebook to be always refreshing on the background, I can just turn it off. I can turn it back on whenever I want, or I can choose which ones are really necessary. Most of these are unnecessary, and if you guys are really running out, I would suggest just turn them in all off and not on, okay? Um, but that's up to you guys. Just pick the ones that are most necessary to you, okay? That's the third thing that you guys want to do for sure. Okay, most of you, once you open up an app, whichever app, for example, YouTube, let's say we minimize it, right? So we press the home button. So uh, what does that, that does is actually minimize your apps. They're not really closed. So in order to close them, you're going to double tap on your home button. That's the wrong button on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So just double tap on it, and you guys are going to see this. So here I see all the apps that I have open, okay? These are also running in the background. So what you guys wanna do is actually close them all. To close them all, just swipe your finger upwards. So just touch one of the apps and you're gonna flip up and 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 close them all, okay? So once you do that, again, that's gonna save you a lot of battery. Okay, um, what I've noticed that that's a big deal and even if your screen's off, um, you know your power button, you touch it and your screen goes off. Okay, um, although it might be off, even if you reduce your brightness when it's off, it still does help out. Okay, so what you guys want to do is just swipe your finger upwards from down here. Okay, so let's say just touch your home button and then swipe your finger upwards so you see this. Okay, you guys want to reduce your your thing right here to the minimum okay now yes sometimes you guys might need to bring it up but it's better if you guys control this and always have it at its minimum if you guys have it at its minimum you're gonna save big time battery life also might as well that we're here also turn off your Bluetooth if you guys are not using your Bluetooth make sure it's off so just tap on that it's supposed to be like this whenever it's on it's gonna be white Okay, so just turn it off. Same thing goes for your Wi-Fi. If you guys aren't using your Wi-Fi, don't have it on, okay? Um, for this part about the reduction of light, okay, some of you have probably automatic, so you guys wanna go into settings, okay? And from here, you're gonna see display and brightness. And here, you probably guys don't want automatic brightness, because this will make your iPhone a lot brighter in sunlight, so you guys can see better. It's gonna make it darker when you're in a darker room because you don't need that much light. However, you guys wanna take care of this. You guys wanna control this, okay? So you wanna turn this off for sure and control it and make it as low as possible, okay? This will save you big time battery life, okay? Um, the third thing that you guys wanna do is see what's going on. What's going on with your battery usage? Is it really bad? 
you guys want to go into general again uh, go into usage in usage you're gonna see battery usage so it's good to go there just to analyze what's going on what's taking up the most okay um, and you're gonna see a list of apps just loading up in a second and it's gonna tell you by percentage which one takes up the most okay so right now these are the ones that are taking up the most battery life now some it's okay if they're taking up 13% or 10% but they're taking up too much like Safari I know it has some issues sometimes and it takes up way too much like 30% or if you see anything 30% really you guys should get rid of that app download it again or um, for example Google Maps you guys probably want to update it as well so any apps that are consuming way too much battery life you probably have to update them if they don't need an update I would suggest just getting rid of them and then loading them back again okay just install them back again remember any apps that you purchased in the in the past they're always gonna be in your purchase history so you're not gonna lose them just for deleting them you can always delete any apps get them back again you don't have to pay for them again okay um, so it's good to look at these stats and see what's going on the last very last step if you guys are having big time issues with your battery then you should do a hard restore of your phone if you restore your phone don't just load up your last um, um, once you make a backup on your iCloud don't just load up that back that backup from your iCloud uh, download some of the apps yourself so they're nice and fresh it doesn't just load up the problems that you had from before so do that the restore usually works most of the time okay that will solve your problem now if you guys are still having problems then we're gonna need to go into Apple so you guys are gonna log into apple.com and you can do a, a test from there and see what's going on with your battery it might tell you that you need to do something or not okay so that's the very last step and then at the very 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 last what the last thing that you guys want to do is go to Apple and get your battery changed it's around a hundred bucks it might be worth it for you I wouldn't recommend it even if it's a new iPhone I would just sell it um, obviously you'll do a restore unless there's something wrong with the battery then you have to do mention that on your ad when you're selling it but if there's nothing really wrong it's just wasted over time you still have 80% or 70% from it just sell it and get a new iPhone I don't think it's really worth paying a hundred bucks for a new battery now the battery you can also change it yourself however don't recommend that that much because it's hard to get good batteries you can get batteries as cheap as two dollars or even three dollars on eBay that doesn't mean they're gonna last long at all and quite a bit of things can go wrong when you're doing that anyways that's it for this video if you guys still having problems you can write here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you